how's it going? Welcome back to another video. We're back at a, another Laurier Computing Society event. It's another meet to professionals. However, we have new professionals, four new professionals. We're going to see around. We're going to ask a few questions to people. Let's see what the vibe is. We've got a lot of new food as well. So we're going to check that out, meet the people. Let's see how it goes. All right, we got some amazing food here as well. We got muffins. You got, I don't even know what this is. Raisins, blueberry, chocolate chip. What is this? You got roasted vegetable and hummus. Ch chibata? I don't know how to pronounce it. Chiba chibata? Chicken Caesar wrap. Teriyaki. Chicken satay. What's that? I don't even know. All right, what do we got here? Tomato juice or something? I don't know. What is this? Is this tomato juice? Oh, that's actually fruit punch over there. Fruit punch? Oh, I thought it was. Bro, you don't. You got to label it. Uh, all right. Salad. Greek salad. Strawberry. Strawberry is feta. That's, that's weird. I've yeah, never tried that. that Caesar? Yeah. Who's Caesar? I don't know who Caesar. Okay, Caesar salad. We got we got a lot of good stuff. Much better than last time, but you know this event's all about networking, learning about applying to jobs, stuff like that. So the food's just secondary. So yeah, let's go in. Let's see what the recruiters has to say, and we can interview a few people. Chicken teriyaki sate, fresh curries. You want to zoom in? Look at that, fresh food. All right, that's about it. Time to wait for the event to finish, and we can interview a few other people. Otherwise, you know, everyone knows how to write their resume. You, you guys are smart enough that you know what about green and red flags. But my green flag is if you, if you if I can. You guys are gonna reach out to like uh, potential you know interns or co-ops or whatever, and you search for like a certain skill on LinkedIn. Let's say like Python developer. I know you see like thousands of profiles. What really makes a profile stand out to you when you're looking for someone to message or reach out to? It's never just about Python. Right, so yeah. there's a lot more to it than just like a language or keywords. Mm -hmm. um, listen, sometimes it does have to do with like where you went to school and what program you did and like what work you've done. Um, All right, they're almost done with the meeting session. Everyone's coming out for networking. So yeah, this area is going to be packed with people. All right, I'm here with Hatem. All right, Hatem, I got a question. You're a CS student. You see all this chat GPT. GPT-4, all these AI tools coming out every day. What are your thoughts, you know? Do you think it's going to replace us for jobs? What, what do you think is going to happen? No, I don't, I don't think it's going to replace us. Even chat GPT and all this big technology and all that, someone needs to maintain it. Someone needs to come up with more ideas. Yeah. Unless we make it smart to the point where it learns itself. Yeah. Where there is things like that, but computer science and engineers and all those people, they'll always be needed. It's not. It's definitely going to take over some jobs yeah. that, like, I don't know, self cash, something like that, yeah. self checkout. That's a thing now. Yeah. Stuff like that, but not over, not over professional jobs like software engineer. Not over stuff. Not over. Hundred percent. Thank you for the answer. I got one more question. Wait, wait, hold up. I got one question. How much hours of sleep do you get as a CS student? Everyone says they got two hours, three hours. Is that reality? What do you think? It is reality. Computer science is terrible. It's actually fun, but uh, I average at five. Five hours, five? Yeah. Five's not bad. Five's not bad. All right. Appreciate it. See you around. All right. I'm here with Chandana. Right, I got a question. What do you think? Is AI going to take over our jobs at some point? You know, with GPT 4, Chat GPT all coming out, you know, people going crazy about it. What do you think? Yeah, I do think that there's like a possibility of ChatGPT taking over, especially because like even now, I know in school, a lot of people are using it to do like help with their homework and like assignments and stuff. So, 100% in the future it'll take over. Yeah. Everyone says, you know, like CS students sleep the least, BBA students. What do you think? What's the average sleep time as a computer science student? Um, I don't know. Maybe like four hours a night. Four, four hours is crazy. And like, what, what, what would you say is your average? Like, you, you must get some nights that are eight hours. I'm not, a, I'm not a CS student. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a kinesiology student. But oh, okay. I, I assume you guys get like not that much sleep yeah true all right do you think uh, ai is gonna replace kinesiology nah that's that's crazy nah, right. i don't think it'll replace doctors no <laughs> no I, I mean in terms of you know like you see all these new robots and come out you know do you think it's gonna replace in some field yeah for sure like we use a lot of like prosthetics and stuff in kin like to measure heart rate and stuff like that i think it will definitely take over all right thank you appreciate it so now you know abc toronto and then they ask us you know go to like different places are you going to subscribe or no? Like, 
You're watching this video for free, you know? At least subscribe, like, what the hell? <laughs> All right, back to the video. Please subscribe. Come on, let's do it. All right, we're here with BBC Waterloo. I'm here with... Sarah Qureshi. Racho. All right, I got a question for you guys. You both are CS students? Yeah. Okay. What do you think about ChatGPT and, you know, GPT-4 coming out with all these new models? Everyone's talking about it. Do you guys think it's going to take over, take away our jobs in any way? No, I don't think so. I think it's going to get rid of the research part of the job, okay. but you still need developers who know what ChatGPT is doing to put in the right things for the model to return the right data. So I don't think it's going to take over jobs right now. I think it's going to replace a lot of jobs. Yeah. I think a lot of people are going to get, like, fired and... However, it's important for us to know how to use ChatGPT instead of like getting afraid of it. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah for you. I feel like AI in general is like the new internet, you know, like the whole revolution when internet came out for our parents, you know, I feel like AI is the same. I got one other question for you guys. Um, as CS students, everyone says, you know, everyone, oh, the sleep hours are less. How much sleep do you guys get during a semester? Maybe four to five. Oh, wow. Okay. I get a lot of sleep, eight you hours. Get, yeah, eight hours. That's good. Yeah, even during exams. Um, no, nah, not during exams. exams. How's it during exams? It's tough. tough. Three to four. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, back to you, Toronto. Appreciate you guys. All right, the event's pretty much done, but you can see the recruiters being swarmed by students trying to find jobs. Damn, unlucky. All right, I'm here with. Manjot. Right, and you're one of the recruiters here, right? Yes, okay. from Open Text. Uh, with the whole rise of AI, you know, Chat GPT coming out, GPT four. Do you think you know it's gonna take over some sort of computer science jobs in any way? Um, no, uh, or possibly some like okay. redundant ones. Yeah. But I feel like um, like in having an actual person. Yeah. Um, you need and yes, I I don't think all, not all of them. Okay. okay. But it may impact it. Okay, for sure. Okay. And as a recruiter, I have a question. Um, what was your, you know, weirdest experience if someone, you know, like messaging you on LinkedIn or like any interview experiences that you could share? Yeah, so I did actually get threatened once by a student for not giving them an intern role, um, even though it wasn't my decision. But um, I think we made the best decision <laughs> for Open Tech. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you get blocked if you do that. Don't do that if you're applying to any jobs. Okay, any piece of advice that you'd give, you know? What do you say? Um, I would recommend reaching out to the recruiter on LinkedIn, reaching out to the hiring team, um, because even if you're not reaching out to like the, the right recruiter, we will forward your uh, message to the appropriate person. So, and it'll help us, like, it help your name stand out from all of the applications. All right, thank you so much. Have a good day. No yo, 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 Mike Tess, CNN News. All right, we're here with Philip, Matt, Hassan, Nadim. All right, first off, how was the event? What do you think? It was pretty great, bro. Got to meet some. It was nice. nice. Yeah, we got to meet some good recruiters. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, nope, nope. Uh, That's it? Yeah, okay, okay. Good to meet recruiters, talk about some stuff. It was good. I think this one is better than the last one. Oh, yeah? Okay, okay, yeah. All right, I got a question for y'all. With the whole rise of AI, chat GPT, you know, everyone's in school talking about it. everyone is losing their jobs, shit like that. What do you guys think? Do you think it's going to replace jobs in a certain way in the whole field of computer science? Uh, I don't think it's going to replace them. We'll probably use it like how we use Stack Overflow. And then it'll just help us do our work. For it to replace people, like maybe like 50 years down the line, but not right now. It's not, it's not a worry. Okay. Yeah. Like in my opinion, you can't replace... The personal touch of a, a person so i don't think our jobs are going anywhere anytime soon sounds good chat gpt is trained on like docs and stuff you need to learn how to make documents before you can train the bot so it won't replace us um to me i don't think it will replace human and then i actually enjoy using it because all my assignments are by chat gpt <laughs> <laughs> okay okay yeah nice i got one last question you all are cs students how much sleep do you guys get? Does every, everyone says, oh, BBA students sleep less, computer science. What's the reality? I don't know. Like four hours a night, maybe? Like uh, on a good night? <laughs> Dude, I don't know who the fuck said BBA students don't get sleep. That shit is easy, bro. I don't want to hear it. Um, I get my like, good sleep because CS kids don't really go to class, so I be sleeping in all the time. Yeah, okay. If I'm sleeping, then I'm not lead coding, so I don't sleep. 
I sleep three days on uh, three hours on weekdays, and then I sleep the whole night on weekends. So <laughs> balanced, ba balanced diet. Okay, okay, nice, nice, nice. Another thing: Do people in CS classes shower? Honestly, I've met some people who smell like absolute shit. So no, <laughs> um, no, absolutely not. Straight up. Okay. I was hanging out with Nadim, and we <laughs> we overheard a guy talking about how showering is bad for you. So I think people don't shower in CS. Maybe. I don't know. Asians are clean. <laughs> <laughs> Asians are clean. I, I would like to say Asians shower every day. How, how many times a day? Me? Uh, about like five times a day. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, clean enough. You know, it's COVID. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. Yeah. That's it for today. Thank you, guys. There we go. Let's go. All right. That's it. No, other you guys not here. Let's record. Let's record. All right. We're here with Kevin Nish. All right. What are we doing here today? We were at we were at the event. The event just ended. It was Meet the Professional Recruiters Edition. Just trying to get a job out here. I think I might have managed to sneak something in tonight. Nice. Uh, same thing. Meet the professionals here uh, by LCS. So. Are you looking for a job too? I am. Yeah. You know, always gonna be open to <laughs> open to work. You know. Nice. Nice. Okay. Um, all right. I got a question to you guys about AI. Do you think it's gonna replace the whole computer science industry? Is it gonna take away all our jobs? What do you think? Uh, you know what? Uh, you can go back a few YouTube videos. I answered this question again, so you can find my answer there. You're wearing the same stuff as well. So. I'm here with? Donner Yasin. Right. What do you think about the event today? It went amazing. This was one of our last events for the year, and we just blew out with the breeze, so I love it. All right, one other question. I asked some other LCS execs. I don't know who, but I got to get a proper answer for you. What does LCS do? LCS does a lot. So we do everything to help out kids that were, we were in one, their position at one time. And we just, whenever we're planning events or any initiatives, we just go with the forward facing hat of, okay, what would we want when we were in their position, right? So networking events, projects, leadership opportunities, events that are cool, you know what I mean? That have like a chill perspective to them. So anything really much. Yeah. Okay. As a CS student, I have to ask you this. What do you think about the whole world of artificial intelligence? Do you think it's going to take away our jobs in any way? Um, I think a lot of positions are bound to be, for example, the train. When the first train started rolling out, a lot of positions were taken out from that. Uh, but I think CS and tech in general is on the tail end of that. Obviously, if a mountain of data was being trained on these stuff, then yeah, it's going to be eventually. But I don't think it's going to be like that for a long, long time. And I still think there's going to still be positions where, for example, AI and ML are hot right now to get into. I think, like I said, it's going to be the tail end. I don't think we're in any danger. Sounds good, yeah. One last question. How much sleep do you get as a CS student? You're fourth year now, so. Um, uh, <laughs> probably like one to two hours. No, that's now. crazy. <laughs> one, one to two hours. <laughs> okay. No, usually probably on average like five to six. It yeah, depends yeah. on the week. It depends for if sure. it's exam season yeah, and yeah, stuff. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, appreciate it. Thank you for being in the video. There you go. All right, we're pretty much done with the event. We interviewed a whole bunch of people. Yeah, pretty good event, I'd say. We got a huge turnout. Everyone's obviously head back home now. But yeah, we got a couple of interesting answers. And yeah, that's about it for the video. <laughs> okay, almost fell down. All right, back home. It's a Friday night. Everyone's out partying, but I have to edit this video. Like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. You already are supporting a lot, so appreciate the love. Yeah, as always, I'll see you in the next one.